So here's my Ream 4-ton unit. And as you can see, it's operating just fine. It's about, uh, oh, almost 80 degrees today. It's been keeping the house a perfect 70 degrees, or was it? As it turns out, I did have a very minor issue with it, which is actually quite common, as I've learned later on. What happened was a couple of days ago, uh, the unit was on, it was running. It was about 7 a.m and we had a brief power interruption. The power went out and came right back. It tripped a couple of devices in the house. The AC seemed uh, to stay running, uh, so I guess the interruption really wasn't that long. But I noticed that there was a very odd humming sound coming from it. So after a moment or so, I said, that just doesn't sound right. And I came out here and I felt the air coming out over here, and it was ice cold. And I went in the house, and I felt the vents, and it was rather warm. I said, hmm, okay, that's odd. It should not be doing that at all, by any means. Well, it turns out that the Copeland scroll compressors that are in these units can potentially run in reverse. And that's exactly what happened. That's what the weird humming noise was. It was running, you can hear the compressor in the background over the fan, but um, it actually tripped it and started running in reverse. And it was putting cold air outside and warm air inside. Now the reason that happened is for some reason when this unit shuts down, it makes a really weird like kind of sound. I can't really explain it, but that's how you would about spell it out. And when it shuts down, that sound is actually the scroll in the compressor turning in the opposite direction to alleviate the pressure. Now, some of these units will do that, some of them won't. This particular one also has a very loud startup sound. Some of them do that, some of them don't. The main thing is, none of it causes any damage, it's just really the nature of the beast that some of them do it, some of them don't. My little two-ton over here does not make any kind of really abnormal sounds whatsoever, but this one does. It never used to do that weird shutdown kind of sound, but now it does, and it just is. It's not hurting anything. I read several forums about it, and everybody said, yeah, mine does that, yep, yeah, mine does that, yep, yeah, mine does that, so it's fine. Now, what would happen if you let this thing run in reverse the entire time? Well, what would happen is eventually the head pressure would get so high that the compressor would hit its lock rotor amps and the rotor inside would lock and it would no longer be able to spin. At that point, or maybe even uh, a little sooner, uh, from that, uh, the compressor will essentially sense that it had overheated and shut down. And then it waits for a while, and then it'll go to restart. And when it does, then it'll restart normally. So why did it spin backwards? Well, again, what happened was we had a momentary power blip. That was enough to allow the compressor to stop, and then it made that sound and started turning in reverse. As it was turning in reverse, power was reapplied and it continued in the direction that it was running. So it actually shifted itself into reverse and just did that. I'm gonna give you an example now of what it sounds like when this unit shuts down. That was the sound I was talking about. Now I'm gonna give you a startup sound of this unit.
And as you can see, the compressor is very loud now. And then it quiets down. So like I said, it's just the nature of the beast. Some of them do that, some of them don't. This one happens to do both the startup and the shutdown sound. To prevent this kind of thing from happening, you can get a time delay restart for the unit that will lock out the compressor in the event of a momentary power loss. Now my thermostat has such a device, which is enabled, but I don't know if it knows that it had lost power or not, because the thermostat itself has batteries in it that keep it alive, so I would gather it probably is seamless as far as the power loss, and it just didn't even know, so it couldn't control that. But there is a device that you can actually install in the unit to help prevent that from happening. But again, should it happen, it will run in reverse for a while until the head pressure gets too, too high, and at that point, it will uh, shut down and then restart normally later on. Anyway, I'm glad to see that it's running very well once again. It's been giving me no problems whatsoever this season, except for that one time, which really wasn't even its fault. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Make sure you hit like, make sure you hit subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.